It is relatively impossible to find a good case for the Fold 2 right now, but hopefully this one will be a good option for most folks. Hey s'mores, I'm Shannon Morse, welcome to Morse Code. I do tech reviews and tutorials, so if you are looking for in-depth tech and gadget content, you've come to the right place. This, my friends, is the Spigen Thin Fit Case in Bronze for the Galaxy Z Fold 2. And yes, I am doing a review on the Z Fold 2 as well, that's coming up very soon. The reason why I wanted this one in particular is one, it matched, two, it's thin, and three, it actually protects both sides of the fold. It comes it's $29.99 off of Amazon, at least at time of recording, and it is finally coming back in stock later this month. It has been on pre-order for the longest time. It comes in bronze and black, and it basically just comes in those two colors to match the colors of the Fold 2. There's not much to the packaging, it's just a simple cardboard cutout case, so nothing really to share there. And it comes in two parts, to cover the back, where the camera bump lays, and the front, which borders the cover display. Now each piece is molded lightweight plastic and the bronze one is white plastic. The bronze is actually painted on top of the white plastic, and that makes me think that it might scratch over time. It is very fingerprint resistant, and it has a smooth matte surface. It's notably not as slippery as the original phone metal casing, which really, really helps me feel a lot more comfortable using such an expensive device whenever I'm out and about. Luckily, Spigen only put their logo on the back cover, so it's not obtrusive or anything, and it's pretty easy to put together. For the back part, the case, it simply snaps into place and it sits firmly on the back. A very slight lip protects the camera lenses, but I would probably still get a tempered glass lens protector just to be on the safe side to cover up those lenses. The front case also snaps into place, but it has eight little sticky strips that hold it onto the phone since the edges are so thin. Now this piece is not necessarily supposed to come off, but you can. I did it. I took it off for my review of the Fold 2. It did not leave any sticky residue from the sticky bits, but those may collect some dust under the case over time, so keep that in mind as well. To apply this onto the front, you just align the curved corners and then snap the straight edge onto the phone as well. And then you press down on each side so that the little sticky strips have time to cure or adhere. Now if you don't press down on the sides, the front part can move around since it's so thin, but once it's applied it definitely stays in place and I didn't have any issues. I think it took maybe a day or two for it to actually cure and to really stick into place. You basically have to treat these little sticky strips as if they are command strips and you will be just fine if you apply those correctly. Now it also does make it a bit harder to edge swipe on the cover display since it does cover the screen all the way around up to the edges. FYI, because of that, this will probably not work well with tempered glass screen protectors like the Whitestone Dome ones because it does require those sticky bits to cure onto the phone bezels and it does not leave much, if any, space between the case and the screen. So likely it would not sit right with a glass protector on it as well. I do still generally like this case because it adds very little bulk to the phone, which is great since it's already a thick boy. The USB-C cutout is kind of narrow, so keep that in mind as well. It still works with wireless charging, no problem, and the traditional Samsung USB-C chargers though, so if you use third-party ones, there might be an issue. There's also cutouts for the buttons so you get the original clicky response, and you don't have to worry about those either. Now when you open it, be very aware that the straight edge fits firmly against its counterpart and you can totally pinch your finger in the process of opening it against the hinge. So be very, very aware of where you put your fingers on the back of the Fold 2 whenever you're opening it. It hurts if you pinch your finger with this case. Ask me how I know. But for what it's worth, it fully protects the hinge whenever it's unfolded, and I do like that feature. The edges surrounding the folding screen are totally flush with the phone, so they don't deter from being able to use the folding screen at all, and it's a pretty decent case. It is 30 bucks, so it's one of the less expensive ones for the Fold 2 as well, because most of them are charging like $50, which is a little bit out of my price range for a phone case. Look, I realize this is a luxury device, and all that good stuff, but please give me the inexpensive phone cases. I just want it to be nice and protect the phone. I don't need any fancy schmancy leather or carbon fiber or whatever you guys want. I just want something simple. That's it, just protect my phone, that's it. And if it comes in purple and pink, that's even better. 
but it doesn't have to, as long as it protects the phone. I think that's about it. So if you are new here, subscribe to become a part of my amazing community. You are so awesome, and I love reading your comments every single week. And you can also check out my Patreon and buy me a coffee to see how you can support this channel. I also wanted to thank my newest s'more, including El Kintaro on Buy Me a Coffee. Thank you, El Kintaro. I miss you, and I hope I can come back to Japan soon and hang out and sing some more karaoke, because that was awesome. We did that once for my birthday. I even made a vlog about it and it was so much fun. Comment below and let me know if there's any other cases you would like me to try out. Thank you again so much to my s'mores for subscribing. I'm Shannon Morse and I will see you soon. Bye y'all. Don't put your fingers here. It may pinch and it hurts.